Ladies and gentlemen, let's show game into the video. We're going to be taking a look at The Last of Us Remastered versus the original The Last of Us, which of course was on the PS3. So, the remastered version, of course, does sport high resolution textures, higher frame rate, and various other graphical improvements. We'll get into that in just a moment. This is my initial first impressions. I've literally just recorded the first impressions review. And I still have a lot more work to do before I finalize my comparison, including a frame rate test. Hopefully that will be over the next day or two. Um, and I'm certainly going to have all the graphics related stuff finished tomorrow. However, this is just a short snippet of the beginning of the game. I want to give regular subscribers a chance to check out the normal The Last of Us compared to the PS4 uh, version. And then you can make a decision based on this. However, is worth remembering that due to YouTube compression as well as the fact that it doesn't support 60 FPS there are some things you're still not going to be able to tell however in the final version when I got a little bit further and I've also got the screenshots high resolution captures I'll also include high quality bitrate downloads so you can check that out over the next day or two so definitely subscribe if you're not a regular member or subscriber and if you are well then just keep an eye on your sub box. So what is my thoughts? What what be my opinion if you will? Well The Last of Us Remastered pretty much is what you'd expect. To say it's remastered is one way to say it or HD is another. It's not like, for example, there are vastly different models in the game. For the most part, models and animations are very similar. However, it does look a hell of a lot more fluid, thanks to the fact that it doesn't tank below sub-30 for the most part. It's actually around the 60 mark, my initial testing. Um, and you can definitely notice the difference. Not only do the characters look smoother in terms of the way they move, it's more fluid, but combat feels considerably, considerably more responsive. In fact, after playing the PS4 version for a bit and then derping on the, X on the PS3, my aiming was absolutely awful. I kept on pretty much overshooting targets and it just wasn't pretty. I'll just be totally and utterly honest with you. Not that I'm good on pad anyway, but this just exacerbated the issue beyond the point it was even funny. For the graphics, um, for the graphics, I have noticed a couple of glitches on the PS3, uh, the PS4 version, the remastered. But I'll go into that further when I've done more analysis. It predominantly seems to be camera related oddities actually like camera angles there are still some textures which just don't seem to want to load at the convenient time or at least in the time the convenient for us the ps4 does it whenever it bloody well pleases as you'd expect level of detail however generally speaking is considerably better at all distances foliage road textures character shirts and clothing and decals all of the other graphical assets, to be honest with you, look substantially better in The Last of Us Remastered. That's not to say that it's truly, truly next generation. From the snippets we've seen of, for example, Uncharted 4, there's definitely improvements left to be had. However, from what we understand, they've basically taken what they've learned from the remastering, in other words, for example, the toolset, the engine, and can use that to transition onto Uncharted. Anti-aliasing does seem to be less of a thing. The PS3 version, at times, particularly when you were dealing with basically straight edges that were on angles. So, for example, let's say a classic example would be, let's say, oh, I don't know, a, a, a standing floor light that's, uh, say, at an angle, it's, say, toppled over slightly, resting against something, banisters, those type of things. They were particularly susceptible to aliasing, and the PS3 version, it did an okay job, but because it was 720p anyway, I have noticed some differences in the PS4. It does look a lot smoother, um, and edges look, for the most part, a lot less washed out and blurry. I will, however, be doing a lot more comparisons on that. I'm not totally comfortable to give you my opinions on what forms of AA it's using yet. I'll have a look and do some... Um, real analysis on that over the next day or two. Color palettes, the PS4 version definitely has much more expanded gamma and in some cases for example at the beginning of this video you'll have seen Joel and um, his daughter sitting there on the couch and you can actually see that for example Joel's lap is considerably darker on the PS3. I could basically say that the 
well, contact, the contrast range is a lot more crushed. There's a lot less room. And I'd say that this definitely affects the black levels. I would say a lot more colors are basically being pushed towards the black rather than uh, kind of the mid-tones, which is definitely, it's got less of a contrast range. In other words, it's not necessarily that it's awful. Bear in mind the PS3 and the PS4 versions of the game they were set to default, so I didn't fiddle around with the gamma or anything like that. They were basically, as they were, captured raw. So this is basically raw capture from both cards, uh, from both systems, I'm sorry, um, and at 60 FPS. So there's certainly no, um, there's nothing uh, finicky going on there in terms of the quality I've not added or changed any of the gamma values. But you could just basically tell even, for example, when they're driving through the city streets early on in the game, that some of the dashboard, um, some of the, for example, the armrests, that type of thing, they're just considerably blacker, and there's less range of contrast there, which definitely helps to kind of smudge out the details. Um, so lighting is definitely stronger. And oddly enough, this is even when you're going in certain areas as well. Um, for example, the apartments when there's a lot of uh, particles on screen, you could definitely see a much nicer uh, contrast range and a much nicer level of detail that looks a lot softer and much more fluid. Now, the bigger question, I, while I wouldn't say that this is truly, truly next generation, it's definitely a leap above what the PS3 managed to achieve. That's not to say that the PS3 version looks bad, per se. It looks good. I mean, to be honest with you, I've mentioned in another um, video for today's video where I'm doing like first impressions of this. The PS3 version of the game actually makes my PlayStation 3 noisy. I can actually hear the fan kicking up. If I'm playing other games, it's fine. I'm using, by the way, a launch day model. Whereas the, PS, the PS3 version of uh, Last of Us, you can actually hear the damn fan basically crying for mercy. It's like, please, no, stop. Whereas if I was to play, for example, Uncharted, it doesn't do that. So it's a specific issue. Please message me on Facebook if yours does the same thing or doesn't do the same thing. I'm quite curious. That's facebook.com slash redgamingtech. Or you can tweet me as well. But, honestly speaking, it's very impressive on the PS3. Less so impressive technically on the PS4, and I don't mean that in terms of the PS4 version is it's considerably better. I'm just saying there's obviously a lot more room left in the tank, which we will of course be seeing on Uncharted and other games which are going to be coming out over the next few years on the ps4 so my overall opinion yes it looks better these are my initial thoughts obviously do check back for my full uh, in-depth analysis but my initial impressions is yes it does look better yes the playstation 4 remaster looks prettier yes the frame rate is more stable whether you'd want to cough up for the entire full version just for higher resolution graphics is kind of down to you if you can get a good price for the PS3 version, which to be honest is doubtful, and you don't own, for example, um, any of the DLC, then it could definitely be worthy of a purchase. Or if you fancy replaying the game, or you just want to check out the game again, definitely worth purchasing the remastered version. It's also slightly cheaper as well than a traditional PS4 game. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Remember to check out the full analysis over the next day or two, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Give this video a like if you wouldn't mind. Take care, and bye for now.